Imagine a world with no tablets. And now imagine what happens when you give them Xperia tablets. Apps are not just for fun and games, they're also for understanding. Here students use Google Earth to learn about maps. Here students are doing close reading for understanding using PDF Max and Google Drive. Students can highlight text. and add annotations and comments that can all be then saved and sent back via Google Drive. Apps like Nearpod can be used to check understanding and increase participation. One feature of Nearpod is that students can respond to questions and prompts provided by the teacher that is embedded into the slideshow. Apps work together. When you open a picture, you can share it with other apps. Here students were asked to annotate on top of a map in order to show their understanding of the continents. Our students opened up a picture in Sketch and were then able to label the map. Mind mapping apps like Simple Mind can also be used to show student understanding. One of the best things about apps is how they can foster creativity and higher thinking skills. Writing in authentic ways is a breeze with the Blogger app where students can write for a real audience. Creation apps also let students show what they know. I'm going to tell you about the world map. On the world, you, you can see that everything is labeled. Now, North America is located right here. South America, another continent, is right here. Just to tell you, there are seven continents in total. Europe is located here. Asia. Erasmus makes book reviews more fun. Hello. If you want to laugh on the floor, then you need the bad kitty. In conclusion, the possibilities are endless.